I mean, it's pretty weird what I'm working on right now, right? Because I've been doing game design. And then as time goes on, I become more and more interested in how much of a mess that I see computing has become, broadly speaking. And so one of the speeches that I want to do, maybe I'll do it at, at an event if events start happening again. Like the thing that I, I try to get through into people's heads, and it, people don't seem to appreciate this, is like most of what programmers do most of the time is waste right now. It's mostly dealing with complexity that doesn't need to be there, right? Uh, either complexity made by their own company in their own product because they hired a bunch of people, you know, who, who didn't coordinate well enough. Like that's, everybody knows that story. Um, but then also dealing with the underlying computing structure, which is a giant mess that we, makes you work way harder than you should to just do simple things. And in fact, things that people used to take for granted are now pretty hard. And that's a problem. <laughs> programmers are becoming increasingly inefficient on average. There are small pockets of programmers that are very productive. I think if if you can work on your own code in an isolated environment, you can be very productive. But like as soon as you're on a big team that's dealing with an operating system and a web browser, you know, and like some invisible routers somewhere on the internet that have very weird ways that they like to behave that you can't even see into, um, it becomes very messy very quickly. You know, I interact with a lot of younger programmers, especially because I do streams, I do live streams where I program and all that. And programmers are depressed a lot of the time and I understand that because I've been depressed a lot when I'm programming and it's very easy for that to happen. When you feel like most of what you're doing all day is just garbage, you're probably going to feel that way if you're self-aware in any way, right? Like if you're just banging your head against a brick wall all day and then you eventually manage to do something and then it falls apart two weeks later, like you're going to be unhappy. So, so I guess if I had infinite ability to get work done right now, infinite work bandwidth, I would try to do that. I would try to do the simpler version of all of computing that's as capable as what we have today. Actually, it would be more capable because it would be faster and it would have an order of magnitude, fewer bugs at least, and be easier for people to understand and easier for people to work with and all that. I know what you mean in terms of that the depression. For me, it came in the form of guilt. In my first job as a professional software engineer, I remember just feeling really guilty that I wasn't more productive and they were paying me all this money. And I was just spending all of my time like fixing a web webpack configuration or something like that. Like not even yeah. building something new, just somehow the build broke. And I would feel like I wasn't doing my job. Um, I'm not doing the thing that I'm here to do. And then it wasn't until after I did a few more software roles where I realized like, oh, this is like just the state of a lot of, a lot of systems. And it's not just me. A lot of things are like barely working because there are people behind the scenes doing that stuff all the time, right? And it's just not good. Like, look, we could be much more productive if we just stop it, right? And so, but but the thing is, it, it is true. It's a very large, complex system. It's not very easy to change. However, like something like economics is complex because it involves the personal decisions that people make every day and you don't know those people and you don't know what they're going to do and every you don't even know yourself, right? So have fun designing that. But computers were designed by people. We actually designed all these things. Somebody somewhere knows how all these things work, although the proportion of people who understand any given piece is declining over time, right? And that's dangerous actually as well. But this was made by us and we can make it better. People have all sorts of ways of justifying the status quo, right? And I think there's sort of a team aspect to it, but I find increasingly this attitude that like, these things were made, they're like the pyramids of Egypt where like they were made by the forefathers and who are you to say that they should be changed? And you should just live, you should just live in these structures that were made, you know, by previous generations because they were smarter than you or something. Like I hear that phrase sometimes, like the web browser was made by people who were smarter than me is something somebody said to me in like a online argument. That's scary. Like once, once programming becomes, we live in these structures created by future generations that we are no longer able to build, that's a civilization in decline, right? That's it. Or at least it's a civilization that has passed its glory days and can no longer do those things, right? Maybe it could stay in a sta steady state at some lower energy level, but that's never happened in history. Like things just decline eventually. And so that break. doesn't, yeah, yeah. Like things break, especially a highly technological society breaks 
if it's not maintained. You know, so going to like the Bronze Age collapse and, and some of these other famous historical societal collapses, what happens is you have people who are sort of past their glory days in some way, and they think that they're doing fine. And then some environmental shock happens, right? Or, or they get attacked by someone out of the blue that they didn't know existed, or both of those things happen at once, right? And then there's a stress placed on the society that it didn't expect, and it finds itself unable to respond effectively, right? And just things don't go well, right? Very few things really make me angry, but that kind of a thing does. Like when people make excuses for mediocrity that looks to me like it will lead to decline, that makes me angry because the stakes are so high. But most people don't seem to agree with me that the stakes are that high. So I don't know.